Guys, before we leave, shall we take a group photo? Nice picture of the third C class. <laughs> guys, I wonder what did you guys do after school? I modestly got a degree in chemistry. Ah, uh, well, I majored in economics instead. That was to be expected. Whatever, come on, you were a math geek. I, on the other hand, majored in philosophy. I've always loved it. With 110 honors and academic kiss, I might add. But will you stop bragging about your girlfriend, please? You've been doing that since middle school. Giacomo, what did you then do instead? Well, my parents wanted me to get my dental degree, you know, to carry on the family business. What about you, Michelle? I got a master's degree in telecommunications engineering. Ah, congratulations. And uh, next to you, I feel a little ashamed, eh? Because I only got the basic engineering degree. What about you, Matteo, on the other hand? Me, but nothing special. What university did you choose? Actually, I didn't go to college. Really, but nowadays, who doesn't have a degree? Well, I actually didn't even graduate from high school. You only have an eighth grade? I finished middle school and started working right away. My first occupation was as a dishwasher in a restaurant. I mean, let me get this straight. So you were just washing dishes? Well, from the beginning, yes. Didn't you suck at it? No, guys, it was just another job. Then I went from dishwasher to commie. Ah, oh, I see, and that's a superior role indeed. <laughs> is a role that allowed me to become chef de rang. Do you know what that is? Well, isn't he a waiter? No, I was coordinating the transition of dishes from the kitchen to the dining room and vice versa. Well, a waiter, you've made a career of your own. Boy, that was a tough journey. Uh, yes, we can imagine. Kind of like the basic engineering degree. Whatever, otherwise you guys started a family. Seer and I think about this a lot. Yes, he is. It's just that until we've achieved some economic stability, we can't really think about bringing a child into the world. But why aren't you working, Michelle? I understood that you were an engineer. Yes, I am on paper, but I'm actually still waiting for a company to hire. I see. And you, Serena, are you working? Eh, uh, maybe. Unfortunately, with my philosophy degree, it's like groping in the dark. There's so much competition and so little work. What about you guys? I have a job in consulting, but I'm hoping to find another one because we work grueling hours and I put my engineering degree to little use. Uh, me too. Uh, I'm currently a saleswoman. What about you, Martina? Are you working? I majored in art history and now I'm guiding in a museum. It's the closest thing to my studies that I could find, I on the other hand. Me on the other hand, I'm still working as an assistant. In a couple of years though, I am confident of a promotion that can allow me to run a lab. Guys, I understand that nobody here is really satisfied with their work. Whatever, I'm going to go to the bathroom for a moment. Go ahead. Guys, can you believe this? Matteo Milesi only has an eighth grade education. I already in junior high school remembered it a little stupid. I mean, but at least you'll be able to do something. Something like what? Reading and writing. Of course, it's awkward to talk about our study paths with him. Guys, what do you say? Do we just pay the bill and leave? Good. Let's hope Matteo has the money for his share. Do you think you can pay with paper? I hope so, because I don't have enough cash. Neither can I. Michelle, can you lend me 10 euros? That I'm a little short. Easy. Waiter, excuse me, can you bring us the bill? Gentlemen, the bill has already been paid. What? And from whom? By Matteo Milazzi, the owner of the restaurant. The owner of the restaurant? Well, to be exact, of the whole chain. Indeed, but how? Didn't you tell us? Guys, leave it. It's on me. I can afford to pay for some old schoolmate's lunch. Matteo, sorry, but we didn't imagine that you could have these economic possibilities. Who said that? I never said anything like that. But we thought that... What well, did you we think? we thought that in your condition you couldn't afford to eat out. Instead, you own a whole chain of restaurants. It's true, I didn't continue my studies, because I preferred to choose manual labor. I toiled a lot and made my own apprenticeship, thanks to which I opened a small restaurant. Then with time I opened others, and so I created a real chain of restaurants. 
Did you really have all this success? Mateo, excuse us, we didn't mean... What, offend me? Unfortunately, I think that's exactly what it is. But rest assured that the life I have led has taught me not to take offense at those who have judged me superficially. For I have always proved my worth with facts. In fact, I will tell you more. With determination and willpower, you can achieve great things. Because it is not just a piece of paper that decrees a person's success. 